Dr. Uh, Rob and Mailman. Good to see uh, comics getting along. Because, man, according to Cat and Monique, we hate each other. Man, Cat just started the year off. It was funny, too, because when I saw the interview on Club Shay Shay, when I saw it was coming, I was like, oh, this is going to be good. You know, Cat's going to talk shit. So I'm watching it, and he just, he just picking people off. Bam, bam, like, fuck. Fuck, fuck. And I went to the refrigerator to get something to eat and I heard my name and Gary Owen. I said, wait, what the fuck you say about me? So I didn't want to stop the interview because Kevin was going a mile a minute. So I said, I had to get on Twitter. I said, what do you say about me? So Twitter had to tell me. They said, no, no, no. He said, he said, you good. He said, you haven't been in any more big, white, mainstream Hollywood movies because you haven't joined the Illuminati, which I don't know if it's real or not. And then he said, you haven't sucked it. Dick, or put a dick in your ass, which is accurate, but I just don't know how Cat knew that information. I just, it's funny in the entertainment business, because I can't imagine, like, like most people, I moved out to LA in my early 20s to chase a dream, but I'm like, what are, I just can't imagine being a dude, you're straight, you moved to LA to get movies, you get a chance to get in a movie, and a studio exec was like, all right. I've seen this movie, but, uh... <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine you a straight dude? You <laughs> suck a dick to get the movie, and then the movie comes out and it's fucking pootie tang. You gotta suck a dick for a terrible movie. I suck a dick, I want some guarantees, Avatar. Dick for set it off too. <laughs> I wouldn't suck a dick anyway. Now I would fuck an old lady. Oh, don't let some 85 year old woman be the head of Warner Brothers. I'll blow that 85 year old back out. Wouldn't even lie about it. Be on the red carpet. Gary, how'd you get the park? Margaret! I didn't see a month Thank you, Margaret. No problem. You guys gotta see the shit she can do on that walker. Come to join it. state right now because we got this thing called cancel culture out there it's like real but it's not real basic cancel culture is a bunch of people on the internet that were never gonna pay to see a comedy show anyways get mad at a comedian telling a joke and they say oh, well we want to cancel his whole life because we don't like that joke right because basically we're trying to we're trying to dictate what we're supposed to talk about like according to cancel culture we are not supposed to talk about guys with dicks that don't want their dicks no more <laughs> We are not supposed to talk about girls with no dicks who want a new dick. I think it all started when Bruce turned into Caitlin. Caitlin's so interesting because people forget Caitlin was Bruce. And Bruce Jenner was an amazing athlete. He was an Olympic gold medalist. At one point, he was the greatest athlete on earth. First athlete to be on the cover of Wheaties. Little did we know, the whole time he wanted to be on Fruity Pebbles. Because here's the problem. Here's the problem we got right now. You got men want to be women, women want to be men. And so now some corporations. Now we got everybody's got to be the quota. So you got to hire a certain amount of men, a certain amount of women to be the quota, but you don't have to fuck your hiring sometimes. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, and we all know this, like some jobs were just meant for women, and some jobs were just meant for men. Yeah. And we got to stop hiring men in jobs that aren't meant for them. We got to stop hiring women in jobs that weren't meant for them. Like, like a dental assistant 
should be all women. Yeah. I don't want to walk in the dentist's office. I got this thick finger motherfucker. 